OK, so in this video, we're going to go through some examples of solving equations that involve a modulus. So each of these, I'm going to attempt to sketch uh, the left-hand side and the right-hand side on the same axes uh, in order to work out how many solutions and also to find those solutions. So uh, with number one, we've got the modulus of e to the x take away 1 is equal to 1 half. So the first thing that I'm going to try and do is sketch y equals e to, e to the x take away 1. OK, so that would have a horizontal asymptote at minus 1. OK, so ignore the, minus, the modular signs for the moment. And it would be going through 0, 0. And so it would look something like this. Now... Because of the modular signs, anything that is below the x-axis will get reflected up in the x-axis. So actually, this part of the graph would be reflected up. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? Going on to my line there. OK, so it actually looked like this. So we can get rid of that part of the graph now. OK, so that's my curve. And then I've got y equals 1 half. And so that would be a horizontal line and intersecting, as you can see, the curve at two distinct points. OK, so this solution here is coming from the negative modulus. So minus e to the x take away 1 is equal to 1 half. This solution is going to be coming from the positive part of the curve, so e to the x minus 1 is equal to 1 half. So we need to solve both of these equations. So e to the x take away 1 will be equal to minus a half. So add the 1 to both sides, and we're going to get e to the x is a half. So x is going to be log of 1 half which is the same as uh, minus log 2, because log of a half is log of 2 to the minus 1, bring the minus 1 down to the front. So that's clearer as to why you're getting a negative answer here. So this is minus log 2. Uh, or you could just write log of a half, that's fine. And for this one, we've got e to the x is equal to 3 halves, and so x is the natural log of 3 halves. OK, and so they are the two solutions to that uh, equation. OK. OK, so number two. Uh, we've got the modulus of x plus 1, x minus 3 is equal to 3. OK. So this would be a quadratic going through minus 1 and 3. So I'm going to go straight in with the sketch. Like that. So minus 1 and 3, and that point would be positive 3. OK. And you've got y equals 3 as the line. OK, so actually, I already know what one of the solutions is. It's 3. OK, now I could uh, then use symmetry of the graph in order to find that point. OK, but I'm going to show you how to do this algebraically. So we've got four solutions. One, two, three, four. Now, the two uh, ones on the outside are the intersection of the positive parabola. So x plus 1, x minus 3 equals 3. They're the ones on the outside. And the ones on the inside are from the negative parabola. So minus x plus 1, x minus 3 is equal to 3. So these are two equations we need to solve. So expanding the brackets out, x squared um, minus 2x minus 3 equals 3. So x squared take away 2x take away uh, 6 is 0. OK, so 1 minus 2 
Oh, whoops. So 1 minus 2 minus 6. Uh, so we get x is equal to 1 plus or minus root 7. Now both of those are solutions, so that's fine. So 1 take away root 7, and that one is 1 plus root 7. So solving this equation, so let's multiply through by minus 1 and expand those brackets. x squared uh, take away 2x take away 3, and we've got minus 3 on the right-hand side because I multiply through by minus 1 first. Add 3 to both sides, so x squared take away 2x is now 0. So x, x take away 2 is 0. And so x is 0 or x is 2. So that's that one there, okay, at 0. And that one is 2. And so there are the four solutions to question number 2. Now, the next question actually uses the same uh, parabola, but we've got a different line to work with, OK? So I am going to sketch it again, um, just so I can clear that up a bit. Right, so it was coming in at minus 1. OK, so that was 3, and that's minus 1, and that is uh, 3, OK? Now, y equals 3x plus 3 would be going through 3, and also minus 1. OK, so it's going to be a line that's going through both of those points. Now, the thing is that this line will intersect the curve again. It's just f f much further up, OK? So I do know that there are three solutions. There is a point of intersection somewhere up there, OK, that I need to find, OK, far, far above the graph. Two of the solutions are here that I already know. So. I know that minus 1 and 0 are going to be solutions. Now, how could I work these out algebraically? Well, this point and that point further up would both be found by using the positive parabola. So x plus 1, x minus 3, and that's going to be equal to 3x plus 3. This point here would have been found from the negative parabola. And I'll also, with this equation, pick up the minus 1 as well. Or should do. So let's see. So expanding this out, x squared take away 2x take away 3 is 3x plus 3. So subtract the 3x from both sides, so minus 5x, and subtract 3 from both sides, so minus 6 is equal to 0. So then we have x take away 6, x plus 1, and so x is equal to minus 1, or x is equal to 6. And so that's the solution there, x equals 6 is that far of solution up there, okay? So I know both of those are correct. As for this one, expanding the double brackets, and I've multipl I'll multiply both sides by minus 1 as well. So I can then add the 3x to both sides, and add 3 to both sides. So either x is minus 1, or x is 0 which are the two solutions that I already knew about. So there are three solutions. There's minus 1, 0, or 6. OK, three solutions to this equation. OK, right, finally, Number four, 
So we've got the modulus of cosine x is equal to sine x. Um, we're solving between 0 and 2 pi. OK, so first of all, the modulus of cosine x. And then it would have gone down and round. And then back up again. OK, so that is y equals the modulus of cosine. Right, then we've got y equals sine x. Now y equals sine x would be doing this and then around there and then around there and then around there. So there are actually two points of intersection that I am interested in. Those two points there. Okay. Now, one of them, this one, is the intersection of sine x and cosine x. This point here is the intersection of sine x with the negative cosine x, the bit that was reflected up. So if I divide through by cosine x, I'm going to get sine over cosine, so tan x is 1. OK, so then make sure your calculator is in radians. So inverse tan of 1, and that gets us pi over 4. Now we know that there are no other solutions from that. Um, in the range, and so pi, x is pi over 4 is our first answer. And then divide through by cosine here and get tan x is minus 1. So inverse tan of minus 1 is minus pi over 4. Now clearly that's not the solution I'm interested in, so I've got to add pi onto that to get the next solution, which is 3 pi over 4 which is a solution in the range. So that point is pi over 4. That point is 3 pi over 4. So our two solutions are pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. And so that's how we can solve equations involving the modulus function.